What is up guys? Welcome back for week 11 of the GBA. We made it this far with a not so great record 4 and 6. We are rematching Chimpact and his Philadelphia Scissors. You guys see the team on the bottom that I think he's going to bring for us and uh, we're challenging right now. I uh, got a very interesting team. Uh, I built this uh, in conjunction with Wolfie. Uh, Wolfie needs me to win for him to have a chance uh, to make playoffs. It's actually quite interesting because uh, if I do win, and they face off against each other. If Wolfie wins even by 1-0, and I win by 1-0, I believe Wolfie advances, and uh, I and Chimpak doesn't make playoffs. So uh, Wolfie's kind of counting on me. Uh, he helped me build uh, for this matchup, and I helped him build for his as well. And uh, uh, if you guys haven't watched his game yet, definitely go and check it out. But he ended up, uh, spoilers, uh, he ended up beating Gator, so, uh, and I believe it's a, it's a, a timer stall, so that'll, that'll be a long game for you guys to watch, I believe they both, both, uh, live calm, if you haven't seen that yet, definitely go and check it out, so, uh, we're gonna confirm the team for Chimp, um, the idea is to trap Victini with, um, with Zorark, and, uh, from that point on, Sylveon goes in, so that's what we're going to hope happens, <laughs> we'll see, um, I'm Wiki Sylveon, so behind screens I'm pretty much invincible, uh, other than by the Victini, so. Alright, let's see what he brought. Oh, that's a very different team than what I was expecting. Okay, so we see no, uh, we see the Teeny, we see the Bulu, we don't see the Yuxi, we don't see the Scrafty, and we don't see the Ferrothorn. Instead we see, uh, Gren, uh, the Driftblim, and the Slurpuff. Interesting, and Slurpuff was behind Nihiligo, so we'll, we'll move Nihiligo over here. Um, Alright, so very uh, different team. Very interesting team. He might try to go for webs early. Uh, that might be his play. I'm not really too concerned about that. Um, I'm honestly... I think I'm just going to lead off with uh, Scallopede against this team. Scully looks like it has a good lead matchup. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to enter Scallopede, Zapdos. Um, we're going to disguise Yato as Sylveon because I want to bait in the... Uh, no, there's nothing I really want to bait in. Um, Maybe Asuna. We'll disguise it as Nui. We'll find a situation where that works and we'll confirm. All right, here we go. Let's go. <laughs> Goat. Alright, um, so lead Scallopede, pretty solid against his team, against the, uh, the six that he brought, so we'll hope that's enough. <clears throat> I, belie I believe he brought the, uh, the Driftlin probably for my Scallopede itself, so we'll have to see. Alright, he's gonna lead off with Puff Daddy, that's kind of what I expected. The webs early. I do have Poison Jab on this set. And I believe I'm just going to go for it. Uh, it shouldn't knock him down to a sash. Let's see. Slur, puff. Slur. Belly drum. Zero HP. Let's make it minus defense. So, like, brave. Uh, brave, zero IV. Uh, zero HP versus Scallopede. Shiro. Uh, Scally. Poison Jab at level 50. Okay, yeah, it does knock him down to a Sash. Alright, so I'm actually going to go for the... I'm going to go for the Mega Horn first, I believe. Aqua Tail is more accurate. We'll go for Aqua Tail. And he dodges. Alright, and he's got Flamethrower. Great. Alright, well that sucks. Um, and that does a shit ton. We get a speed boost. That really sucks. And uh, there's not much I can do about that. As good as this thing was, I don't think I can keep it around. What's his rock setter? It's Nihiligo. That really sucks. Um, yeah, I have to. I have to P jab here. God damn. Let's see how much this does. Yep, focus Ash, as expected. That's so stupid, because I would have knocked him down to a sa I wouldn't have knocked him down to a sash with the Aqua Tail, and I would have just poison jabbed on the following turn. And now I have to deal with this thing endeavoring something. 
Wow! That's stupid. So dumb. Special, if I get up a screen. No, I can't let him endeavor multiple things. So I'm gonna lose another Mon here. That's so dumb. Oh my god! If I don't have Sucker Punch, right? Uh, Yato, what are, what's, your, what's your name, Zoroark? That's the worst first turn possible. I clicked the more accurate move, too. Alright, whatever. Um, Chisei, how good are you? You can roost up later. Yeah, we'll go to Chisei. I'm going to get endeavored, but there's nothing I can do about that. There's absolutely nothing I can do about that. I'll bolt. So dumb. I mean, I could have stalled out the endeavors with roosts, but uh, I didn't want to play those games. I can roost on up later on his uh, on his Bulu. That's so dumb. Oh my god. Slurpuff. Where are you? There you are. Gone. Okay, so now we have to make some plays. Um, all right, Alphonse, come on in. What are you gonna bait in the Victini? I'm assuming the Victini. The Greninja could come in too. What is this, Gren? All right. Um. <laughs> okay. Like I don't even want to post this anymore. That was such a stupid first turn. Uh. I guess I'll go to my win con <laughs> at this point. Uh, no, I'm gonna go to uh to Asuna. I'm a jack button, and I'm, it's gonna get wasted right here, but there's nothing I can do. There's a spike. So we had this exact same situation last time. This time I brought the magic coat for the Greninja. Uh, let's see if it works. Taunt me? Toxic me? Anything but Grass Knot. Alright. Like, I have to make these plays now, like... <laughs> like, I didn't mind sacking off Scolipede if it meant that his Slurpuff went down. And then I could bring in Scolipede later in the game and just go for a Z-Bug. And I would have picked up a... nearly a kill. On something. Obviously, there's still the Drift Blim there, but... Okay, so don't attack me, Chimp. Go for, like, Taunt or Toxic or something. Let's see. Dark Pulse. Yep. Alright. Well, there's my Eject Button. Triggers. Alright. And he's gonna have Gunk Shot. You already know. Switch it in. Alright. That's not going according to plan. <laughs> really not. Alright, so he has no idea what this is. Uh, if it was Zoroark and I were to go for a Focus Blast, he would probably switch in his Teeny anyway. Um, I don't have my Sash anymore because the spikes are up. I don't have my Sturdy. Yeah, I gotta go for Hyper Voice. I don't have a choice. He's gonna get out. He's gonna go to Teeny for sure. V Drive, yeah. <laughs> like that, that honestly was the worst possible first turn. Because it forced me into this position right here. His teeny took 25. Big Sylveon. I mean, for me, it doesn't matter. I'm out of playoffs. I just feel bad for Wolfie, man. Yeah, so he's completely uninvested on his teeny. Or he's got like 40 HP. Something like that. Um, There's nothing I can do. I'm gonna go to Asuna. Hope EV creates. 
He's probably gonna bolt strike, but again, there's nothing I can do. Yeah, my sash wouldn't have been broken because he wouldn't have gotten in his Gren properly the way that he just did. He would have been forced into Drift Blim. I would have gotten my Zapdos. I would have gotten up screens. <sighs> this game played out completely differently if I hit that Aqua Tail. There's the U-turn. Okay, that's fine. That's definitely banded. Yeah, that's banded. I did like 27. And there's nothing I can do here. He's probably going to go into Hilgo and sweep me at this point. <laughs> what a stupid way to lose. Honestly. Like, I understand he could have saved his slurp off. He could have done a lot of different things. But me breaking the sash was so important right there because I wouldn't have lost my Zapdos. You guys don't understand the pressure that Screens put on his team. <sighs> yeah, this is lost. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. He's going to go to his... Why? I mean... I'm going to recover. I'm faster. What does he have? Swords Dance? Sub? Okay. Sure. Is it sub toxic? Like. <laughs> Scald. Do we break it? Probably not. No, we do. Okay, good. At least that. Stockpile. Okay. Switch it in. I have to do this. He's gonna go for another sub. I have to switch in my Zapdos and Roost. It's the only chance that I have. I have to try to get up screens and I have to, to go ham with Sylveon. Somehow. He might just attack this turn, I'm not sure. Stockpile is interesting. Oh, okay. At least my Lodic's back up to a decent amount of health. The one thing that can take a B create. Yeah, I have to make this play now because if he goes for a sub, then I'm out of luck anyway. Does he attack? Toxic, yeah. <laughs> and he connects. Course. Um, so I'm gonna die and we're gonna go to our Zorark who has his sash broken anyway so it doesn't really matter Nui we're gonna go for a knockoff here Best case scenario, he brings in Victini. <laughs> That's absolute best case scenario. Hopefully he forgets that Sylveon took the spike. Because if I'm able to catch the Tini with a knockoff, then I kill it. So, knockoff into Pursuit takes care of it. That would be amazing. Zapdos is dead. See, that wouldn't be the case right now. But, you know, things happen. Not much I can do about it. Pretty sure knockoff is still going to do a ton to this thing, even though it's at plus one. Um, if he's max HP. Max HP, max defense, plus one. Still takes 52 to 61, so he wouldn't be able to sub. At least that. I don't know his item. Is he Z move? No, he's not. It's the Gren and then a Heligo, right? Yeah. 
Knock off goes off. We're going to do a lot of damage to this thing. The Aya Papa Berry's gone. He's going to go for the Baton Pass. Into what? He has plus one defense. So he could go into a lot of things. He doesn't know if I'm Scarfed. So Victini might be a bad play. He has to keep that in mind. So the Drip Limb's at 25. The Teeny's at 75. Yeah, I really don't know how I get around this Teeny, though. Teeny. Yeah, um, I'm sorry that my commentary is so lackluster, guys, because I just really don't know what to do at this point. Mogwai, who's this? The Nihiligo. And he has plus one defense on this thing. That's going to knock me out with whatever it goes for, honestly. Um, um <clears throat> excuse me. Could go back to Asuna. Because I'm slower than his Nihilga. This thing for sure is Z, but I have no choice. I have to make this play. I have to save my Zoroark at this point. Power gem. I have a little bit of spit off, so I should be able to take this. Not too well, but I'm going to recover here. Show me the Z move. It's the grass, right? I'm just trying to think of how this game would have played out if it wasn't for that. Because his Driflim clearly couldn't touch my... Uh, my Scallopede, because it's sub baton pass toxic. I don't know what the last move is, but I doubt that he could touch my Scallopede. Anyway. That would still be alive. The Zapdos would still be alive. Yeah, it'd be a, it'd be a 6 to 5 game right now. Roughly. I'd be either be 6 to 5 or 6 to 6. Grass Knot, is that going to knock me out? And yes, it does. Yeah, so that's uh, that game was lost the second that what goes up is special attack, speed, special attack. Okay, so he's planning on webs to sweep me. Um, probably has HP fire, I would assume. We're gonna go to Alphonse anyway. Like I don't have a choice. I have to try to uh, to gyro ball this thing. So dumb. Gyro. Show me the hidden power. It's four attacks, right? Hidden power plus sludge wave. Oh, never mind. And we die anyway. Okay, well then. Probably has sludge wave. I would be shocked if he doesn't have sludge wave, at least. You know, um, and I think at this point my only hope is that he doesn't have Sludge Wave on his Nihiligo. Nihiligo plus two versus my uh, Sylveon. Sylveon plus two Power Gem does 53 to 63. So I have to hope that he only has Power Gem, and that. He knocks me in a wiki, so I'm, I have to call mind. Yeah. Yeah, Sludge Wave. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's that's GG. Nothing I could do about that. That's so stupid. Anyway, um, that's gonna wrap it up uh, for us. I'll be uploading my game against uh, against Gator, but it, it doesn't matter. Um, Yet another 5-0, thanks to that fantastic miss. 
But yeah, guys, uh, that's gonna wrap it up this week. Uh, if you guys <laughs> did enjoy me complaining a lot about Aqua Tail missing, uh, then make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Also, uh, make sure to go subscribe to uh, to Chimp because he's a fantastic player. He's uh, really, really good, and uh, he just made playoffs as well. So <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks again for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.